so now we should discuss about the flow control methods we are going to discuss about the flow control methods initially we are going to discuss about simple flow control methods simple flow control methods what are the limitations uh, what are the limitations of simple flow control methods and so on then we will discuss about stop and wait ARQ automatic repeat request simple control flow control method is also called as simple stop and wait protocol simple stop and wait protocol and then we'll discuss about stop and wait ARQ that is stop and wait automatic repeat request and then we'll discuss about the sliding window protocol we'll discuss about the sliding window protocol then we will discuss about go back n then we will discuss about selective repeat then we will discuss about selective repeat after selective repeat we are going to discuss about their relation or you can say comparison between these two we will discuss about the comparison between all these things all these flow control methods okay so first of all we will start with the simple flow control method we will start with simple flow control methods we will start with simple flow control methods simple flow control methods so what are simple what, what do you call uh, what is a simple flow control method and before we st actually start a simple flow control method we should know when i'm what what do i mean when i'm talking about the flow control method what do i mean when i'm talking about flow control what actually is flow control and why do we need flow control see what happens is you know the complete architecture this is the sender this is the sender and this is the receiver this is the sender and this is the receiver this is the receiver and this is the transmission media between the sender and the receiver now if sender is sending the data packet to the receiver then the, these data packet will sit inside the buffer these data packets will sit inside the buffer now assume a case where sender is sending the data at such a high rate the sender is sending the data at such a high rate that receiver is not able to process the data or receiver is not able to process the data maybe the buffer of the receiver is, is full or maybe uh, maybe because the state of the system is receiver is already doing some kind of very having processing and it is not able to take the data at such a fast rate right so when i'm saying flow control method then flow control methods enables us to tell the sender at what rate it should send the data so that receiver should receive the data and should be able to process it okay or you can say uh, the sender the sender should only send the data at such a rate that receiver will be able to take the data process it or uh, take the data effectively or uh, see it, it, it is not related to when for example if the sender is sending the data at a very high rate uh, it may happen that the sender is sending the data at such a slow rate that most of the time the receiver is sitting idle that is also not beneficial right so when i'm saying simple flow control uh, this flow control method then flow control methods us to determine what is the pace of this flow what is the pace of this flow and this complete is called as uh, the closed loop protocol that means the sender should always follow the receiver that is called as closed loop protocol that is called as closed loop protocol closed loop protocol okay so we should start with the simple flow control method so what is the simple flow control method is if this is the sender if this is the sender and this is the receiver this is a sender this is a receiver this is a media then initially the sender will transmit the packet that means it will take the transmission time and this packet will now be uh, now will be traveling to receiver so the total time it will take to travel is propagation time 
and the it, then the packet will be sitting in the buffer in case of receiver and then receiver will take the packet to process it so this is the processing uh, the buffering time this is the buffer time and this is the processing time and after processing the data the receiver will place the acknowledgement of the data packet to this media and the receiver will send the acknowledgement to the sender and again the sender will receive the acknowledgement the acknowledgement may sit in the buffer and then sender will take the acknowledgement and it will process it and this it will process it then this complete is the simple flow control method how, how what do i mean to say here is assume this is a time this is time this is sender side and this is receiver side the sender side and receiver side and try time is traveling like this time is traveling like this now initially the sender will place the data packet to the transmission media the time taken to place the data packet to the transmission media is transmission time of data is the transmission time of the data and then this data will travel from sender to the receiver and it is going to take some time you can see it is going to take some time now this time is called as the propagation time of data this time is called as the propagation time of data and then the receiver will take the packet first of all the packet will wait in the buffer right so then the packet will be processed the packet will be processed all this time is it to data and this time is also related to data and the receiver will generate the acknowledgement for the data the receiver will generate an acknowledgement for the data and then it will place the data acknowledgement this is acknowledgement on the transmission media and the time taken to transmit this acknowledgement on the transmission media will be called as a transmission time of acknowledgement this time will be called as a transmission time of acknowledgement and then this acknowledgement will travel from the receiver to the sender and the this total time is the transmission time of acknowledgement after the sender is going to receive the acknowledgement then sender will uh, the acknowledgement will wait in the buffer and then the sender will process it t process of this are for acknowledgement t process these are for acknowledgement so this complete is called a simple flow control method that means we will send the data it is also called a stop and wait stop and wait or you can say simple stop and wait that means the sender will send the data and then the sender will stop and wait for the acknowledgement as soon as the acknowledgement is received by the sender then it will send the next data packet so here in this case what is the total time what is the total time to send total time to send one data packet what is the total time to send one data packet so total time will be the transmission time of data plus the propagation time of data plus the transmission uh, this buffering time of data plus the processing time of data plus the transmission time of acknowledgement plus the propagation time of acknowledgement plus the buffering time of acknowledgement plus the processing delay of acknowledgement plus the processing delay of acknowledgement now in this complete time this transmission time of uh, this buffering time of data buffering time of acknowledgement processing time of data and processing time of acknowledgement is dependent on the state of the system is dependent on the state of the system you can assume all these values as zero so if you are assuming these values as zero then what is the total time after that then what is the total time so the total time is transmission time of data plus propagation time of data plus transmission time of acknowledgement plus propagation time of acknowledgement transmission time of acknowledgement plus the propagation time of acknowledgement now in this complete time in this complete time you know that the size of the data packet size of acknowledgement is very very small as compared to the size of data packet 
is very very small as compared to the size of data packet for example generally in case of lan the size of the data packet is 1500 bytes but the acknowledgement is only few byte right so if the size of the acknowledgement is very very small as compared to size of data so you can say that transmission time of acknowledgement will be very very small as compared to the transmission time of data if in any question they have given the transmission time of acknowledgement then you can take it otherwise you can simply ignore it so you can say transmission time of data is very very small as compared to the transmission time of acknowledgement so you can say we can ignore this transmission time of transmission time of acknowledgement so this you can take or you can ignore it or you can take it as zero you can ignore it or you can take it as zero okay then what is the total time the total time is transmission time of data plus propagation time of acknowledgement uh, so pro propagation time of data plus the propagation time of acknowledgement but you remember that when we discussed about the propagation time then in case of propagation time we only discussed that the propagation time should be uh, propagation time is only what is the time taken for one bit to travel from the sender to the receiver so at that same time the propagation time uh, the time taken by one bit to travel from the uh, sender uh, the source to destination for example from t1 to this host h1 to h2 assuming that it, the propagation time is same for h2 to h1 because the transmission link is same right so if the propagation time is same then you can say it can on, only be written as this total time can be written as total time can be written as transmission time of data plus 2 into propagation time transmission time of data plus 2 into propagation time which is the total time and it is important so you can note it down it is total time is transmission time of data plus 2 into propagation time because propagation time will be same for both sender to receiver and receiver to sender from both the directions assuming that case so this is the total time so this is a simple flow control method then after studying the simple flow control method try to identify what can be the different problems which we can face in case of simple flow control methods what can be the different problems okay